to move. We are on a day trip today. We're in London at Covent Garden and we're outside the Chanel pop-up store. This is a beauty pop-up store, which is a really popular thing in London at the moment. Sorry for the background noise. If you've been to Covent Garden, you'll know it's crazy. Um, the store opens tomorrow. Until Dece end of December. Yeah, and it's beauty, nails, um, everything Chanel, basically. They've got fragrance in there, skincare, everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If you stay tuned, you'll see me do this. Demo we didn't think we were going to get a chance, but actually, they opened it especially for us to. <laughs> so we've been in, Sam's done my it's makeup, amazing. and uh, you're getting a first time look at this before anyone else has even seen it. The press are in in about an hour or so, so we're going to get home, edit this, and put it on. So you're watching it before the press have even seen it. How awesome. exciting is that? So I'm going to use, I've got, can you see those? I've got four of these, and I love these. These are Illusion Jombre. And the colours I have are 85 Mirafique, which is this gorgeous sparkly black one. I'll hold that in the front and next face, shall I? Um, and then I have this lovely one. Now, I've used this in a video already. Um, can't remember which video, but I can tell you I have. And I've also used this one in a video. It's a 1920s party look that I did. And this one is number 84. It's a really beautiful kind of greeny colour. And then I've also picked up this one. This is um, Phantasm, which is a really lovely shimmer. Now, um, Bo Nelson, who does Kristen Stewart's makeup, loves this and he uses it on her all the time. So um, I'm going to chuck a bit of that on. It's a great product if you have a dark eyeshadow and you just want to shimmer it up a bit. You just gloss it over the top and it will give you a kind of glossy look um, but still be a matte texture. And then the last one I have is number 83, which is a lovely deep stormy purple colour. So I also get the opportunity to have a little play around with the new Chanel brushes. Can you see those? So I get to have a little play around with those. So I'll tell you the numbers of those that I'm, that I'm using as I go. Number 25 and number 15 look like brushes that I would use a lot. So I'll start with 25. Very exciting to be in the Chanel shop on our own. Uh, right, okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, number 84, which is the green that I really like. I'm gonna take that, what's the front part of the lid? I love this colour. I've not used these yet. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh god, that is gorgeous. Why have I not had these in my life? No, well, I've kind of got them all at home probably. Yeah. I have do you? love a cream eyeshadow. I've got, I've got three of them, like three of these at home. Right. Swapping over to number 15 brush, which is just like 25 but smaller. Number 83, which is the perfectly stormy colour. Can I just say that at this pop up store, it's in Covent Garden, it's in the middle, it's like in the market, and there's windows both sides, so there's people watching me out the window. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Just wanted to tell you that. Camera is doing us justice today, picking up how gorgeous they are. Let's go in with the black Mirafig. This is probably my favourite one. I'm just taking this along the lash line and blending it in so we get a little bit of depth there. light one up through the brow. Now because Nick had a little bit of makeup on because we didn't know we were going to get the chance to do this, I'm just going to clean up with a bit of concealer. This concealer, it's the first time I've used this and I really like it, it's um, called Correct, Correct Her Perfection Concealer. The colour I'm using is Beige Rose. So uh, we'll be getting some of that. I'm just cleaning up where Nick's blusher is a little bit strong compared to the makeup. Oh, it smells really nice, that. I'm going to use number 83, Illusoire, just underneath the eyes. Sorry about my French accent, everyone. Thank you, Nick's. Just blend that out. I'm just going to pop a bit of mascara on. I've got uh, Sublime de Chanel, which is the one that Nick likes, and uh, Chanel are fully prepared with mascara ones. 
Let me just clean that up. Don't worry if you blob, it's fine. If you've got a cotton bud, you can just blend it in. It'll all be gone. That's the great thing about makeup. I've just found a really nice brush, number 23. Can you see it? Oh, put it right nice. in front of Nick's forehead, you'll see it's slightly angled. And the lip colour I'm using is number 159. That's nice too. That is lovely, isn't it? You probably won't see much of this on the camera, but because the eyes are quite strong, I wanted to keep the lip quite nude. And that is my wearable smoky eyes using these Chanel cream eyeshadows. Now, if I wanted to make this like a bit Studio 54, then I would put on these two lip products, which I know you want me to do, so I'm going to do it. The colour I have here is uh, Rouge Coco lipstick in number 21, Rivoline. And I want to have another go with this lip brush. bit of this uh, Rouge Allure lip gloss in number 60 excess over the top just to make it extra 70s and that's how you would turn it into a bit of a 70s look I hope you liked that um, again I'm shouting I hope you can hear there's craziness going on here we've got taxi cabs pulling up Chanel taxi that's pretty amazing um, and yeah and also while we were in there I mentioned we saw Ruth. Ruth come in. here. This is our friend Ruth Billy who um, has a YouTube channel called The Model Recommends. I'll put the link in the description box if you want to check her out. Um, a bit of friendly plugging there for you. We are all now off to go and get some dip and start. I'm so hungry. Um, lovely to see you all and we will see you again soon. Take Thanks for watching. Bye.